Let's go. Time for a trippy. What's up folks? Welcome to this week's episode. Today I'm with Sinan and we're going hunting. We're heading up to Merritt for two nights. Uh, we're looking for deer, grouse, and just about everything else out there. So uh, stay tuned for the adventure and we'll see you on the road. Let's go! Woo! Next stop is Merritt. Dude, I'm not a big corn guy. I'm actually not good. But, when in Chilliwack, right? When in Chilliwack. We're making progress. Stop chaos. Stop chaos. Speak. Break check. It almost looks like a mushroom. So we got to camp. Pretty narrow road, but no issues. Cheers. And uh, we're just setting up our packs range finder in this pouch and then my tripod attachment and phone scope in this because so i run the tripod on the side of my pack and then in my pouch i rock this tags and binders we're each going to carry radios choo, choo, choo. hello hello i usually carry a, a harvest kit it's got like gutting knives and butt outs gloves and game bags and rope all that fun stuff rock a little blaze orange on the back of uh my uh, hunting pack. Our bed is made. Got these awesome lights that run through here. Just two little battery packs. They were great. We weren't the only ones with this idea. So Sutton and I are just going for a little walk. There's a road out from where we're camping that we're hoping connects to a couple main lines. We just got ourselves in this forest that's freaking spooky. Six AM. Not our earliest, not our latest. Definitely not the latest. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna make rain. Keeping forces employed, eh? <laughs> Just bumped a and a doe and two fawns. Not a problem. We'll dev it in the ground. Yo, see that? Apparently there's a lake just through there. I'll show you on Google Maps right now. So we're gonna try and walk through. 
this thick shit here because we want to get to that cabin. You hit him. You think? Yeah, I just saw a bunch of feathers fall. But he... Well done. The male too. Yeah. Find the cabin. Beautiful lake, eh? Let's go find that cabin. With dinner. It's a nice cabin. It's a nice cabin. Look at that. So sweet little cabin. Pretty sweet. So they got a couple beds, mask. That's not PG 13. This is a kid's channel. Girls. This is a. This is actually a blind for moose hunting. That opens up. And then you can shoot through here. Oops. Nice breast meat for uh, dinner tonight. You hear that? We have a hailstorm. Just saw a log just in time. I saw a coyote just up here. If I had to guess. Well, what time is it? Dinner time. It's lunch, breakfast. It's breakfast. Breakfast time. <laughs> so in the back of the truck in those drawers, I've got a cooking set up for first time viewers. Definitely got a bit of mud. This morning on the ride. That it is. Want you to get together. But sun came out in the perfect time. A little brack. Better late than never. Your one stop shop for. Bucks, grouse, and everything else just barely doesn't run. <laughs> <laughs> like it's so close. We're scouting. I feel like if you wake up at five, you're allowed to truck hunt for a bit. Yeah, you hit him. Hello. Hello. Sorry, I said it was too small to kill. <laughs> buck, buck. All right, so we officially have Kaido. He just linked up with us um, and having Red Bulls and re energizing. Props to being here. Hero. Cheers to that. And this is what it looks like in the daytime. Let's pop over to Kaido's truck. for two shades. They're just hightailing it. So these are meal deer, distinguished by that big white rump on their bottom and their very big ears. It's a doe and a fawn. Wow, completely. There's more, there two more. And gross, right in the That's middle a buck, that's a buck, that's a buck. Yeah, what is it? It's a two point, little, little spike. And the grouse right in the middle of the road. Yeah. Oh my God. There's two, there's another one on the far left there. Three. 
Yeah, one right dead smack. Look, Tom went right there on the left. Right there. That would be a full round. <laughs> Straight ahead. Nope. No? Nope. Missed him. <laughs> so I know it looks like we're doing a lot of road hunting on this trip, but we're also just scouting because we're coming back here in two weeks for a, a very official deer hunt. Sign in, congrats on your first mammal. <laughs> Great harvest. Can make a good stew. Um, so we've got rabbits, we've got grouse, and uh, some warm dinner waiting at camp. Well, we have to make it first, but let's get it. Backwards and here. So this is our harvest for today. Three grouse, legs included. Uh, we're gonna throw them in a brine there and cook it up. Very grateful for uh, what we were able to take today. We keep one wing on for transport uh, until we consume. It's part of BC regulations. Anyways, let's get it going. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Chili powder, bit of heat. It's a dry rub. We're gonna make a, a mushroom gravy tonight with uh, mushrooms and bourgeon and garlic butter. And we've got two stoves going. This is gonna be for the steaks and the grouse. And over here, we're gonna have the, the fries going on. You can call it forest to tailgate. <laughs> no sizzle, no. eh? <laughs> All right, no sizzle. Top of the All right. At that point, yeah, <laughs> about, about three came out of there. And the grouse is uh, looking good as well. All right, we're gonna get the, the grouse on. Oh my god, dude, these look so good. Here's the final product. Mushroom gravy, steak, grouse, homemade fries, ish. Thank you to all the wildlife out today. Seriously. Thank you to nature and everything, man, for this amazing cookout. Have a good sleep. You too. Fuck, I should have peed. Yeah, you're done now. Anyways, uh, have a good sleep and we'll see you in the morning. Good night. <laughs> good morning. What's up? Gas is cheap in there. Wait. Good morning. Wait. Just a stunning morning here. All right, folks. Well, we just cleaned up camp and we're warming up the trucks now, so we're probably going to jet out of here. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Woo!